Hey guys, Darth Warwick here. Um, yeah, just, you probably all heard by now. If not, then you'll be hearing it from me. Um, so Carrie Fisher, who played Princess Leia in the original Star Wars trilogy and in um, this episode 7, The Force Awakens, has died. And... Yeah, she suffered a heart attack on a plane on Friday, I believe, and it's apparently a pretty big one, and I guess there was a doctor on board the plane that helped her out, and she was going from London to L.A., I believe, and she was almost in to L.A. And they got her in a hospital, and she was in critical condition for a while, and I think it was yesterday, was it yesterday, her mom the actress, um, Debbie Reynolds, um, said that she was in stable condition and, you know, gave hope to a lot of us because, you know, who she is and, and now she's, she's gone and it's just really sad and forgive me if I get emotional in this video. I don't, I'm going to try not to, but, um, yeah, she, I know. I know Carrie Fisher is a person. I know she's an actress. I know she's not actually Princess Leia. But that character meant a lot to a lot of people. And, I mean, some of us, those of us who grew up with the original trilogy, um, She's very important. I mean, even to people now, like, she was a very strong female character. Arguably the strongest in those movies. Her, you know, you could say she's a spoiled rich princess, but she wasn't really that way. She was, you know, she was a leader against tyranny, against totalitarianism, um, against the empire, and I'm sure I'm not, I'm not female, but I'm sure a lot of females who grew up watching those movies, and who even watch them now, are very inspired by that character. One of the strongest, one of the earliest examples I think of a, I'm sure there had been female characters before her that displayed courage and leadership and just, I can't think of any more words right now, it's hard, but you know what I'm saying, and but not to the degree that she did at that time. And just, it's really sad. Um, and to us males who grew up with her, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's kind of a, for us, we're very young when these movies are made. She was kind of the first, the first woman we were really, attracted to sexually she's kind of a sexual awakening for a lot of us um and that's a good thing with such a a powerful woman character now me personally i'm very attracted to strong women opinionated women women who just don't bow down to what they're told and I'm sure a lot of that comes from my my crush on Princess Leia that many of us have had since childhood and like I said before I know Carrie Fisher is in Princess Leia I know she has an actual family who I feel very bad for her mother is the actress Debbie Reynolds and her her daughter's an actress too Billy Lord I think her name is she actually had a cameo in episode 7. Um, I feel bad for them. This 
she lost her mother, her mother lost her daughter. I know she lived a hard life. I know she had her her dealings with addiction. It's well I mean, it, her addictions are well documented. Um but she had seemed to come out of that for the most part. And her career was being revitalized by these new Star Wars movies and uh, I just I, I love her to death. Just interviews, just listening to her talk, and she's a she's a bit odd, but she's very entertaining, and I looked up to her a lot as a person. And it really sucks that she's dead. And that's all I got to say, I guess. Um, gonna try to get these Star Wars movies watched. Gonna watch them again for the millionth time, and it's gonna be hard. Um, probably gonna see Rogue One again soon. Not, I don't know, man. But yeah, I guess she's not in pain anymore. She's not suffering. And I know I sound like a total nerd, geek, whatever you want to say. Um, but I love Carrie Fisher. I love Princess Leia. And like I said, that character meant and still means a whole lot to a whole lot of people. And rest in peace, Carrie Fisher. She is one with the Force and the Force is with her. So they say. Alright guys. That's going to be it. Rest in peace, Carrie Fisher. May the Force be with you.